Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Wright State Raiders and the Indiana Hoosiers. Number three is brings a calm senior leadership that his team needs on the floor. He finds a way to bring that valuable team support to the team without losing his own game. The Hoosiers will clearly rely on him to make contributions on both ends of the floor. The Hoosiers, by all accounts, should have an easy time of it tonight, Dick Vitale. How do they ensure that victory, though? They should listen to me and follow the simple keys, baby. First of all, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. Second, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. And finally, make your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. The small forward receives the pass. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from the top of the circle, way off target. Fed the low block, in the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Both teams looking to get things going here for the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Receives the ball. Inside. Ball down low. Puts it on the floor. Turn around a fadeaway. Gant handles the feed. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Turnover City that will always really negate any offense. Newton. Modest performance is bringing down his confidence level. Hey, he may need some encouragement from one of his teammates. Muller handles the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. <laughs> Jump hook from the low block. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Gordon makes a great move to draw the foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. A couple of free ones. Makes his first. Gives it up, goes up for two, and in and out. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Trying to pack it inside. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. 
10 on the shot clock. Number three is really turning some heads right now. He's on fire. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Inside. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact that on a defensive player. Shows patience waiting for the reset. From left of the circle, he nails the tray. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. For two, tickles a twine. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. What a great strip. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Takes it off him. And again, they look to run. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Goes with a baby hook, and he missed. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. He'll regroup the offense. They work it around the perimeter. He takes the shot off the baseline. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. Gave it up. From three-point land. Oh, yes. Dribble gives it up, work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Off the rim and no good. Let's look at it again. Work it around the arc. Puts up the shot. He gets it to go. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. On the dribble. Gives it up. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. There should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge.
Pump fakes. Look at these fans. They're loving it. My goodness. It's chaotic in here. The crowd loves this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. The skip pass is picked off. Jump hook from the low block. Can't get the shot to drop. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. A very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position on the post. Nicky V, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. Now the turnaround jumper. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Down in the low post, defensively, great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Nelson is emotionally fired up. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. I tell you, it's a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Gave it up for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Jumper from way out. That's good. Entry pass in the paint. Trying to draw the foul. He gets the bucket. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. For two, that was nice. the dribble gives it up gotta think right now gotta focus defensively work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. The Hoosiers can't get things going right here. Emotionally, they look like they're spent. Hey, they've got to pick themselves up. That's a sign of a good team. Wright State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Gave it up. 
and the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Working it around the perimeter. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Looking for a good shot. There's a double team waiting there. On the outside. From three-point range. He drains the bucket. Double team now, Matt Angle. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard dip. He shoots from the top of the circle. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Up. Easy one. He shoots from downtown. He gets that one to fall. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Stolen away. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Picked out of the air. Obvious foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Sinks it. Hits the second. He sinks them all. Working around the perimeter. Ball swatted. Player swatted as well. Now they work it around the perimeter. In the paint. He attempts the trifecta. Way off target. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Look at that spacing. Picks off the pass. into transition tries for two he drains it the student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team they look like they're having a blast
Hobbs steps to the line for the first time. Gets the first. He misses his second shot. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offensive game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Fakes a jumper. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Good second opportunity. He was out of position on that double. The wrong guy might have stepped up. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's cool. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They come trying to run again. For two, makes the shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He makes a nice shot fake. He up fakes. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He puts up the three ball. No good. He intercepts it. Up fake. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Takes away the pass. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? This place is rocking and rolling, baby! Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Lawson. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Count it. Gave it up. Tries for two. In and out. Shot clock is dead. Jump 
trapped in front to take it away. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Off the rim and no good. At halftime, the Raiders are behind by 15. Indiana is making good use of the three ball here, Dick. Absolutely, Brad. So far, at least 50% of their scoring output comes from behind the arc. When you're burying them from the three like that, you can second guess the defense by taking the ball to the hole. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Power forward takes the pass in the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. There's the screen up on top. He puts it in with contact and all. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good space in. With a bucket, perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. Intercepted. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Fast break possibility coming. Looking for the foul. And he scores despite the hat. Gave it up. Here's a double team. Basket falls despite the contact. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Fakes the shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. up for two. He makes the shot. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. Pushing that basketball. With a deep shot from outside. You betcha. Let's see the replay. Here they come with a double team to stop it. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And the slam. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Now the high screen. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. You got to be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. On the inside. Stolen away. Cross court. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. With a rejection. The ball goes out of play. What a play! These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? And he'll kick it back. He makes the block. Rejected! And the ball goes out of play. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like I oh, am. Yeah. Picked out of the air. He launches the bomb. Nice shot. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. There's the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. For two, perfectly executed. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you, Ern's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. On the dribble, gives it up. Control of the ball. He strips him clean. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Picks off the lazy pass with a quarterback pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. the top of the circle. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Yeah. 
steals the pass. Looking for a good shot. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The Hoosiers are up by 12. In the paint. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. They'll work it around the arc. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. All right, thanks, Aaron. Steals a pass. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. We're going to move it around the perimeter. And the fans are going wild. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six-man for no reason. Gave it up. He intercepts it. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Tries to get the D to bite. For the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Jumped in front to take it away. Jumps into the defender. And he scores despite the hack. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Inside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Working it around the perimeter from beyond the arc. Sinks the shot. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. There's the trap. He launches a three. He nails the bucket. In the 
intercepted. Pushes it up. For two. Tickles a twine. Let us show you the replay on that one. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. From way outside. It's good. Here it is. <laughs> Tries for two. Sinks it. Here's another look, Dick. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to get a tremendous block. And the ball goes out of bounds. He wants the crowd to get pumped up, Dick. He is feeling it. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. It's stolen. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He draws a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. He fires from long range. They're on fire, Dick, from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. <laughs> Only one basket away from the crowd being absolutely thrilled. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. This place will go senseless, Dick, if they can get a stop. Newton receives the pass. High post flashes for the ball handler. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> inside gets it back out tries the three he gets that one to fall the Hoosiers are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless double team now bad angle he takes the three Scorches the net. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from left of the circle. Oh, 
jumped in front to take it away. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Is this home court advantage or what? For the deuce. Off the rim and no good. Tries for two. Easy one. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Strips the ball. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket. Too much contact there and knocked him off balance a little. Very poor positioning on the double team there, Dick. These kids know better. We'll see if they get it right next time down. Picks off the lazy pass. Nelson handles the pass. He dials long distance. You bet. Dribble gives it up. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Wide open for the shot. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Defense giving some room. There's a double team waiting there. Well, it's time to start fouling. they got to stop the clock, Dick. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. And the clock stopped with a foul. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Wow, man, that stops the clock again. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Got it! Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Second shot, good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Rims out. And the clock stopped with a foul. Oh. 
He goes to the free throw line. He makes the front end of the one and one. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. It goes in. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. And a momentary look from three-point land. He bombs from outside. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Gant receives the ball. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. They work the perimeter. There's a shot clock violation. They ran out of time because they made him think twice about where the ball should be passed. Made him think three or four times, if you ask me. Attempts the Hail Mary. Off the rim and no good. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Indiana wins in this very competitive outing tonight. Well, they may have come in a little overconfident, but they held their composure at the end. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.